For his poetry, which endowed with freshness, sensuality and rich inventiveness, provides a liberating image of the indomitable spirit and versatility of man. It was with these words that the Swedish Academy justified its decision to award the Nobel Prize in Literature to Czech poet Jaroslav Seifert in 1984. Born in 1901 in a working-class district of Prague, Jaroslav Seifert was a prominent member of the Czechoslovak literary avant-garde in the 1920s. He worked as a journalist in various left-wing newspapers. He even joined the Communist Party, but was expelled over his criticism of the Bolshevik tendencies of its new leadership. His first collection of poems, City in Tears, was published in 1921, soon followed by Nothing But Love, On the Waves of TSF, and The Nightingale Sings Poorly. As of the 1950s, Jaroslav Seifert devoted solely to poetry and enjoyed official recognition, even though he was critical of some aspects of the communist establishment. In 1969, he was elected chairman of the Czech Writers' Union, but the organization was dissolved a year later for its opposing stance to the occupation of Czechoslovakia by Warsaw Pact troops. Jaroslav Seifert was sidelined and his collection, The Plague Column, was first published as a samizdat. Jaroslav Seifert was among the first signatories of the Charter 77 Human Rights Manifesto, criticizing the Czechoslovak communist authorities. He retired from public life, but remained in touch with the cultural opposition. The Nobel Prize in 1984 took the ruling regime by surprise, and it was only convenient for the authorities that the laureate was too frail to attend the ceremony in Stockholm, and his daughter collected the award on his behalf. The fact that a Czech poet received such a prestigious international accolade was all but ignored by the state-controlled media in Czechoslovakia. Jaroslav Seifert died in 1986 at the age of 84, three years after his last collection of poems came out. His funeral was closely watched by the secret police. Jaroslav Seifert published 30 collections of poems between 1921 and 1983 with subjects ranging from social commentary to historical reflections to intimate lyricism, he is still one of the most cherished poets in this country. To date, he remains the only Czech laureate of the Nobel Prize in Literature.